nor do they know what these other objects are that are moving with it. So, for all intents and purposes, we have a fleet that has been captured, moving in the outer reaches of the solar system. Let's just call it what it is. A research team from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics wrote, and I quote, An unknown mechanism is required to explain its observed clustering. It's also known that Niku is 160,000 times more faint than Neptune. And this object has been spotted around 22 times, with various theories coming out as to what it could be ranging from a hidden planet to an unseen star, which scientists have said are all, quote, problematic when trying to explain its unusual behavior. It suggests that there's more going on in our solar system than we're fully aware of. And that's a direct quote from astrophysicist Matthew Holman, part of the research team that discovered the mystery object. So, when you put all of these facts together and what we know so far about this mystery object, we might as well call it a UFO because that's what it is, it, there comes to light some very um, telling details about this thing. First of all, it's very faint. Okay, it's, it's definitely an object, it has some reflectivity, and they've basically ruled out that this is a comet, or a star, or a planet, or anything like that. So, none of the above. So what is it then? Well, they don't know. So, what we also do know is that the object is traveling in the wrong direction from everything else in the solar system, including comets and asteroids. They all circle in the same direction, but this object here is not only moving backwards, but is moving up. And again, according to the scientists, there has to be a cause for this. And so maybe they're just too shy to come out and admit that maybe the object is self-propelled and moving at its own volition. It certainly wouldn't be the first time we've seen these unknown objects in space that NASA is frightened to talk about, or they just simply lie to us because they want to cover these things up. And finally, what we know about this thing is that it's got a cluster of other objects tagging along with it. And, you know, not to stoke the conspiracy flames, but when I see all of this, and I see these scientists stumbling to try to make sense of this, it's really started to make me question whether these are just some natural objects which have all but been ruled out. So what is 